chose to um, write an essay on the comparison of Out Out and Ballad of Birmingham. So in this first poem we have Out Out, um, it was written by Robert Frost and was published in 1916 during the time of World War I. And in this poem we see that there is a young boy who is in rural Vermont and he is taking on the responsibility of farm chores in the absence of his father. Um, his sister called to him in for supper and his hand is taken by the saw and as a result, he ultimately loses his life. However, the poem concludes with everyone returning to their responsibilities and the mundane day-to-day -day activities without pausing for a time of grief. In this next poem, we have Ballad of Birmingham. And this poem is by uh, Dudley Randall, published in 1969 as a response to the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing. And uh, Randall begins his poem with a young girl asking her mother to go downtown to participate in the Freedom March um, with her friends. The mother, knowing the, um, I'm sorry, the mother knowing the dangers of this protest, she um, advises her daughter to go on to the church to practice her singing in the children's choir. Um, however, the mother hears an explosion and goes to the church only to find a she remaining of her of her daughter. And um, the poem concludes with the daughter with the mother stricken with grief and guilt, continuing to call for her child. So I chose to approach this essay with a historical criticism lens, and this goes beyond looking at literature. It seeks to um, identify the historical and cultural events during the time period and how they may, might influence the authors to write these pieces. Um, in Out Out, we see it was written during World War I, and the men, as the men were off to fight the Great War, the women were often um, had the responsibility of stepping into the workforce to provide for their children who were at home, taking care of the household and farm chores. In Ballad of Birmingham, um, the Freedom March that was mentioned in this poem was a protest on race and for school integration. I also um, took a psychological approach, and this analysis seeks to identify the author's unintended message. And in both of these poems, um, we see that the children took on roles and responsibilities that were beyond their age, um, and their childhood was lost and their identity was lost as a result. So allow me to read an excerpt from my essay on the comparison of both of these. According to the significance of children fulfilling parental roles, implications for family therapy by John Byng Hall, children who often step into parental roles to take on this role as part of their identity. Taking on these roles can, quote, restrict childhood. As seen in each poem, nameless children take on this identity and forfeit their childhood. For Frost's character, his new identity is found in being forced to continue with the farm chores. However, Randall's character chooses to give up her childhood to participate in protests downtown, protests that concern her due to school and race. By the end of each poem, both children return to their childlike tendencies. While one cries for his hand, the other is dressed in appropriate age attire for church. The author uses this symbolism to convey how children were not meant to take on roles for adults. Both children dying in their childlike state serves to remind the readers that they return to their true identity, children. Out Out and Ballad of Birmingham are two poems in which the author observed how children were caught in a war. Whether world were one or world on race, or war on race, the nameless children grew up fast to fight a man's fight. Society's expectation on a shift in family dynamics cost the children their childhood and ultimately their life. Okay, well thank you. Thank you again.